Hi everybody, it's Georgia Rose from Sankuda and um, I just wanted to come on this morning and do a quick astrology video because I haven't done an astrology video in a while and so I wanted to, uh, sorry the camera was tilting, I wanted to come on and give you a little update. Um, we've had a lot of energy with this very intense Mercury retrograde season which is now going to be officially over as of this week so that's something to look forward to. Um, a lot of the fogginess that we've had because it was also Mercury and Pisces energy is going to lift and we're going to find ourselves a little bit more defined and a little bit better able to really concentrate on things. So that's going to be really good. Now what happens is Mercury moves into Aries which is a great sign for movement, um, energy, it's a fire sign. So when Mercury goes into there this week we're also going to find that we actually can get our tasks done much better especially when it comes to our vocations, careers, and our entrepreneurial spirit. So if you have any projects that you've been wanting to do that haven't quite taken off yet because you've been frustrating or a lot of glitches, that's going to really, um, energy is going to really shift this week and you're going to find yourself really able to, you know, get things done and move forward. The big thing this week is we have the sun in harmony with Jupiter and Jupiter is in retrograde. It's the planet of um, benevolence, luck. It expands everything it touches. But this week, Jupiter actually trines the sun, which means that we have one of the luckiest days of the year on April 14th. So if you have anything you've been holding back on that you need to do, April 14th might be just the great day to do it, and I do believe that is today. So um, definitely want to take advantage of that, and that energy lasts for a few days, so if you have anything that you really need to do, take advantage of that luckiest day of the year. Remember, the sun is our life force, and Jupiter is benevolence and luck, so... How luckier can you get to have the planet of life force and, and the planet of benevolence and luck um, together in the sky forming a harmony? Um, the big deal this week is actually Venus coming in with Pluto um, and Pisces. And Venus is in Pisces and in Pisces, Venus gives us a lot of romantic energy, a lot of transformative energy. But when Pluto comes to that party, it changes things up a bit. And that's really great energy for transformation. Um, Pluto is going to be retrograde at the end of the month and when that happens there's some very deep karmic things that will happen uh, because also Saturn is going retrograde but we'll talk about that later in the month. I did write a blog on that on the Facebook Zenkuda site if you want to read it in lieu of the video coming up. So Pluto and Venus in harmony are good. It's good for romance but it will also transform a lot of romances and a lot of people will have some things happen that will be very spontaneous for them. Um, and maybe come as a little bit of a surprise. Um, but nothing to worry about. Just know that any changes that happen are really to bring your life to a better place and improve your quality of life overall. But one of the things that happens um, when Pluto comes into the mix in this, in this aspect in the sky without going into too much astrological detail is we're driven by our desires. And desire is a beautiful thing. But a lot of times we get swept away with desire. And when we do that, it's really probably not what we want. This is an energy that can be very passionate, um, especially towards the end of this week. Um, Saturday, we have a full moon in Libra on the 20th. And that's going to bring in a lot of partnership energy and a lot of energy to do with balance and partnerships. So this combined with the Pluto energy this week could really you know, change up a lot of our partnerships and relationships. But getting back to the idea of us being swept away, we all want that romance that sweeps us away, right? But we don't really want that. What we really want is to be swept up, not away. Um, being swept away is an extreme that sometimes can lead us to places that we really don't want to be. And so we all get romantic and in this energy that might happen this week and we dream of romance and we get a little, um, you know, kind of daydreamy about it. But what I want to say, and this is really important, especially as Pluto goes into retrograde and shifts gears later in the month and becomes more of a very deep karmic transformative energy, is there's a greater love than the love we always crave and desire. And we all crave, crave and desire human love and we all crave and desire partnerships. It's part of us being human. We certainly learn and heal in those partnerships. And for the karmic ones, sometimes that can be painful, but it's still we learn and heal and we are brought to a better place. But there's an even higher source of love than that romance. And so what I'm going to challenge all of you to in the next couple of months as Pluto's doing this dance with Saturn is remember that when you're looking for transformative energies in your life. And instead of looking to the other for that energy, look to the higher source that can actually give you an even bigger and better and more fulfilling love than the human relationships that we have. Um, it's my belief that in creation that all relationships really start in your relationship with source 
and your relationship with spirit, whatever that is that you believe in. Um, so in that regard, this energy coming in, although it's very romantic and a lot of us will want to, you know, act out of our desire and actualize our life based on desire. What we really want to do is remember, we don't want to be swept away. We want to be swept up. And the way that we really are swept up and improve our life and bring our life to another level of ascension is by communing with source and spirit and doing those transformations that we have to do to deepen that connection. And then the romance and the human love and the beauty of having partnership with others, whether that's business or family or romance, are even more fulfilling and go to a higher level. And that's really what we're all looking for is to be swept up, not swept away. And that's something to remember in this energy as Pluto and Saturn begin a dance this week uh, with Venus in the mix that is going to become very intense as the next couple of months come as first Pluto and then Saturn go retrograde while Jupiter is retrograde. And that energy is really meant for us to hit the pause button and bring us to a place of transformation like we've never been in our lives. Um, this is an energy of really actualizing our life by our desires. So don't just get caught up in that romantic and passionate um, love that's going to come into play a little bit. Go a step further than that and think about your own passion and your own love and where you want your wow and your passion to be in your own life, not just in your relationships. And this energy will really help you do that, especially as Mercury goes into Aries and all that entrepreneurial and business type spirit comes in and, and athletic and, and movement, any kind of movement. Um, so this full moon that we have coming in on Saturday is uh, the second full moon we've had in the sign of Libra in the last month, which makes it a super moon, very, very special energy, because whatever that full moon brought in in the beginning of the month in Libra was at the first degrees of the sign, and now the moon has trans transported all the way through that sign, moved all the way through that sign to be in the final degrees for this full moon. So if you think back to the last full moon and what was going on, this is the closing, this is the culmination, this is the moon illuminating the light and revealing what needs to be closed, changed, or the real true truth and lesson of whatever that full moon brought in the last time, about 28 to 30 days ago. So think about that and remember that your partnerships and again, desire is going to be highlighted with this full moon. So we have a lot of passionate, a lot of desiring energy coming in this week. Um, the full moon in the sign of Libra is about balance in partnerships and what we truly desire that bring our life to a balance. But we have other planets like Venus and Pluto coming into the mix, which is really amping up that desire. And then Mercury switching to a fire sign. So there's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of desire in the air. But you want to put that to good use by going to a higher source, not just using it in a human way. So I hope that um, helps you guys with the astrology this week and learning how to use the energy. Um, Zen Kuda astrology is just one part of Zen Kuda. There are many other facets, and I hope you'll join us on our community on Facebook. And for more videos about everything to do with reaching your full potential, body, mind, and spirit, you can watch us on Zenkuda Official on Instagram and Zenkuda on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening and watching and supporting these videos. Please do like and share, and let's see if we can all use the universal energy in the cosmos to make ourselves have full potential and the best life we can possibly have. I love you all for a private reading. Please do just PM me here, and I'll talk real soon. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.